Hi, this is a video tutorial for the T1 ECB mapping extension of 3D Slicer. To start, we have to download the extension from the extension manager. It is in the top of the slicer, is the blue icon here. So click on it. We have to, to wait to open. So we will see this window. We have to to look for the cardiac section, it will appear here. Here it is. Click on cardiac, cardiac section. Then you will have to click on the install button. Then it will start downloading. After that, you will have to re restart 3D Slicer and then you will be able to start using uh, this uh, model. Let's start uploading some data to the slicer in order to try the extension. Let's go to the Daikon module. We have to, to upload the data to slicer. Click import Daikon file, select your folder and then wait. After that, select the, the sequence that you want to upload. These are the sequence in our case. This data, you, you, can, you can download this data at the home page of this model in GitHub. So click on load. Now we have to open the extension. Go to the extension browser, look in the quantification section. Uh, here it is, the T1 and ECB mapping extension. Here we have the input volumes. We have to upload the volumes uploaded. So click on it and select the, in this case, it would be the viability volume. We have three slices. If we scroll on the image, we can change the slices. Also, uh, we have to select the native look locker in this way click on it and select native look locker and the enhance the late contrast enhanced look locker in this way after after this we have to click on create t1 mapping we have a, a warning message it could take a few minutes do you want to run it anyway if we click on no it won't run the, the program. And we can try clicking on yes. So it would take three minutes to the program to process the data. Here it is. After three minutes, we have the T1 native volume and the T1 enhanced. In clicking this tool, we can change the loot of the volume. Uh, moving upwards and downwards in the image. Here it is. We change the loot in order to, to see the, the volumes better. Okay. In order to create the ECB map, we will have to, to get the T1 values of the blood. To do so, we, will, we can do a segmentation or a ROI in the cavity of the head. Click on the segment editor mo uh, module and then create a new segmentation, new segmentation as, and we will call it a cavity. Select the volume that you want to, to create the, the ROI or the segmentation. In this case, will be the T1 native. And with the add button, we can create uh, many segmentation in this way. But we will have just one segmentation. So it could be better to delete or remove this. And we can change the name of the segmentation this way. We can call it cavity. And with the draw button, we can draw a new segmentation on the image. In 
this way, we can uh, zoom on the image with the right click of the mouse and make the cementation. Once we have the cementation, we have to come back to the T1 and ECB mapping extension in order to assess the statistics. Here, uh, but before to do that, it would be nice to have the first views and see if the ROI in the cavity is within in the cavity in the T1 enhanced. Here we can see that the ROI is within the cavity in the T1 enhanced also and in the T1 mapping. Because remember, we need the values of T1 in the cavity. So select the segmentation, the, the name of the segmentation and click on get statistics. We can see here the values of the statistics for the cavity segment and in the T1 native and T1 enhanced volume. Here we can see also that these values uh, were copied in the ECB mapping section because if we made just one segmentation, the module will copy the values. Also, to get the ECB mapping, we will have to put the hematocrit percentage. Suppose it is 43. Clicking on create ECB map, we will have the ECB mapping, as we can see here. Here it is, we, we have the, the viability sequence, the T1 native mapping, the T1 enhanced mapping and the ECB map. So we can change the slices scrolling on the image and we can see in the three slices the these four uh, volumes. If we want to assess the values on the myocardium, we have to make more segmentations. To do that, go to the segment editor module in this way and then create a new segmentation. We can call it a ROI, maybe. And for example, if we want to assess the values of the myocardium in the ECB map, select on the master volume ECB map in this way. Let's add a, we can also change the loot of the image in order to have a better view of the volume to make a good, a good segmentation. And we can add four segments in this way. This, uh, this model is really is a very good tool to make a segmentation. You can click on the image and it will draw a line and you can, uh, you can add many lines and then close the, the segmentation. Press enter in order to, to confirm the segmentation. This looks good. And we need someone else. Nice, we have our four segments. Come back to the T1 and ECB mapping section. And uh, here, we it would be good if we refresh the, the views in order to, to see the four volumes in this way. So to get the statistics, we have to uncheck the fixed scalar volume in order to be able to edit the scalar volume in the statistics section, select the ROI segmentation, and in the scalar volume one, the ECB map. This is the volume that we wanna get the statistics. Click on get statistics bottom uh, here it is the four sections and the scalar volumes and its values these uh, statistics has many features like the mean the standard deviation the minimum the maximum the median it has many features to to assess you can see all of this in this way If we want, if we want to, to compare the, the values of this ROI in two different volumes, we can change the scalar volume two 
for example in the t1 enhanced click on it and get a statistic and here it is we have the for this ROIS for this four segmentation we have the statistic for the ECB map and the T1 enhanced in this way we can see we can see this and uh, if we want to compare segment by segment click here and you have segment by segment the the values of each uh, segment you can see that this uh, segmentation match perfectly in the myocardium of the T1 enhanced. Another tool of this model is the ECB, the threshold controllers. You can control the threshold in this way, moving the slider in this way, controlling the T1 native threshold. You can do this if you wanna have a better view of the myocardium and the T1 and the ECB mapping, you can move the threshold in this way. So this is a, a good tool if you wanna if you wanna see or if you wanna to have a, a good view of the myocardium. I hope this was helpful for you and please don't doubt to send me any question.